Hey what's up guys it's your man JB here and in this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a Coven mitre jig. Welcome to JB TV. So I've got a job to start tomorrow and yes I'm putting up some Coven. Here's the Coven that I got, it's a 100mm Coven and that means it's a 100mm from these two outer edges here, from here to here. Now, this particular Coven is lightweight. I didn't necessarily want to get the polystyrene one, particularly without the paper. So this is papered, and it's actually a little bit harder than polystyrene. This is more like a Fomex type Coven. So the great thing about this Coven is, it's really, really light, so it's not going to take any nails or anything to put up. I've got some adhesive and this is hopefully going to be quite straightforward. Now the room that I'm doing is square so obviously there's going to be four internal corners. I'm not sure whether there are any external corners where there might be uh, parts of the wall that are sticking out but it doesn't matter because the jig that I'm making will cover an internal and external mitre. Now what I've done here is I've cut myself a baseboard. Here it is. Now the size of the baseboard is really dependent on the size of the coving that you're using. Now as I've said already this coving is a hundred millimeter and I do need to be able to place a bit of coving around here and then also here so I can cut an external and internal corner. So this is probably a tiny bit bigger than what I need but the bigger it is the longer the piece of coving you can have on your jig which will mean that you will get the angle cut better otherwise if you've got just a very small portion of your coving on the jig it may be liable to move slightly so uh, this is absolutely perfect I've cut this at 450 millimeters square now I've got six pieces of this CLS which have been cut and all of them have a 45 degree angle on the end and what I plan to do here is actually glue and screw three of these together so I end up with this rather large piece of timber with a nice 45 degree angle on it because I'm not going to be able to cut that with my mitre saw. So let's get these screwed together. one block made, I just need to make another one. Now I've got my two blocks glued and screwed, I'm going to attach them to the baseboard. We'll mark that 262 on the board right there, 262, 262, and we'll get a nice straight edge and mark that. And then we do the same thing this way, 262 and 262. And then we'll just mark. So that gives us a good idea of where these blocks need to be. 
So I'm going to be using a panel saw when I do this and as long as I can get a saw in there, yeah, there we go, perfect. So the thing here is because I've used this timber which is quite wide it means it will keep the blade quite flat and straight. If it was a quite a small piece of timber it would easily do this. Next up we'll glue and screw these blocks to the baseboard but we'll do it from the baseboard to the block so we'll flip it, we'll mark it and then flip it and screw it. And we'll just mark where that one's going and just means then I can put a few screws in. I'm going to put three in here. So you can see here this is my block right here and I've done the outline, I've marked three points where I'm going to put screws, I'll drill it this way and then I'll screw it from the back. So I might just put a little countersink on those just to ensure that the screws do sit flush. We'll sit that in position. So that's all square on there. That's just holding that in position. So now we'll do this side and just want to leave that little gap. There we go. What we'll do here is get the framing square on these blocks. So what I think I'll do is get one screw on this end, square it up again, check it, then screw this end. We'll drill a few holes out. Roughly get that in position, we'll put the panel saw in there, maintain that gap, framing square on, make sure that is spot on, yep right about there, let's tighten that off, double check, The first stage is done. So we've got our two blocks on there set at exactly 90 degrees. Got a nice gap down here which will allow the saw blade to nicely glide through and cut and mitre our coven. Now what we need to do is to get these thin strips glued and screwed to the baseboard on the inside and outside of these blocks. Now just bear in mind that not all coving is completely symmetrical. What I mean is this point here or this measurement here is different to this measurement so it's not exactly the same height there as there. So just check with the product that you're using. So I need to make sure that this goes in the same way on the jig every time I'm using it. I know that the measurement from here to here is 67 millimeters. so what I've done is measured it from the bottom out on the inside and on the outside and then what I'll do is I'll glue and screw my strips along that line which will then give me my exact position for my coven. Now I was going to use 30mm screws to screw this batten down here but that is too long, the screw is going to be too long so I've got some 25s which will be perfect. Quite 
Well, that's the jig made, and what I've got to do is just try one internal cut here. To get the blade in there. Hold that in still. screw this down when I'm cutting and that is how the corner looks that is absolutely spot on I'm loving that right then let's see how it looks on the job Fantastic. That worked really well. It didn't take too long to make and uh, it sure made easy work of putting that coven up. I'm sure if you've got any questions or comments you're going to leave them in the box below aren't you and I'll do my best to reply. Awesome. I'll see you on the next video.